Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Piag and Dragon and welcome to race number eight of the Osama Cup series, season number five. We are here at Iowa. Yeah, a new track added to the schedule. We're located in Iowa. Holy cow, I never would have thought of it. But we always love bringing new tracks into the Airless Pond Cup series. With John Scavenicky on the pole. How about this? Just came after a very exciting Eldora race, and we just came. And then we got Brits after this. It's three straight short tracks of ultimate funness and happy times. And John Scavenicky. It's probably his perfect setting. He's a dirty, pretty dirty driver. So, green flags that. Look at that American ethanol sign. The trial of amazing. Andre Erickson is outside. She's looking for the points lead. Speaking of she's, there's Megan Atkins making her official points debut. And number 20. She's pretty good at their short tracks, actually. Oh, oh Scavnicky bounced off the wall there. That didn't look good. Oh, I think there's a caution now. Oh, caution's out. Well, I'm not too surprised. As Will Goss on it on her outside. Look at try to make a pass. Got it. And caution's out. Deanna Shelton, Ian Duda, Jada, Justin Perry, we saw may have gotten involved there. As we have our first incident of the day. Well, well, they make their rounds about to take a look and see what happened. So here's what the first incident. Deanna Shelton just came off and a win at Eldora. And then dude's gonna bounce the wall into her. And gets pummeled by the 24. But I think something's gonna happen to Justin Perry. Oh, he blew up on the start. Well, wow, that's just bad luck for him. Justin Perry, last in points, is still last. As we have at the green, Will Goss is still the leader. Megan Atkins, Matthew Fuller right behind them. Yuppers. Hmm. Here we go, Will Goss. Gotta take the green flag. Got a good start. Atkins did not. Atkins is... Well, you think Atkins would be pretty rusty, but she's doing pretty good, pretty good so far. But she is a short track racer, so I guess it isn't too surprising. Is Nick Barney now looking underneath the double zero? Didn't work. Couldn't get the run. Charles Jackson's coming down into the pits. Looks like he may have some kind of problem. Hopefully the field starts to spread out. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, Nick Barney in the, in the double zero there making some contact. Oh, boy, double zero took that turn way wrong. Oh, God. That didn't go well. Oh, boy, three wide. His zero car is in a bad spot. Oh, caution's out again. Is it? Probably is, isn't it? No? Is it? No, okay, caution's out now. I thought it was for a second. And... Where is... Oh. Stangs aren't updating. Atkins has taken the lead. She's doing a good job. Now she's trying to hold off Nick Barney. Nick Barney would love to pick up a win for sure. Same for Goss. Dylan Young's trying to get some momentum going for that 16 car. They've really had a really bad season this far and they're looking to try and change that. And they're doing pretty good. Same for, oh boy, Sid Dino got way up high there. Whoopsies. Oh boy, oh, Sid Dino dropping like a rock. That's not good. Are we still, we're still, somehow still green. I don't know how we're still green. 
Said Cole, the points leader up in the top 10 area. Jason Tross, second in the points. Trying to get a good finish, but he has to get past Dylan Young first. His two former teammates. I don't think anyone saw Jason Tross do this well this season. A lot of people predicted he was going to have another crud season. Oh boy, Battle Lee here. And Barney and Megan Atkins going at it. And Barney will complete the pass. And those two pulled a huge gap. Erickson. Oh, cautions out for something. Oh, you need to max with the issues. Charles Jackson has another problem. Joey Murphy looks like he was involved in something. William Duncan, fifth in the points, looks like he may be involved in something. Oh, Pete London and Daniel Day with some issues in the pits. John Sandino, tenth in the points with some issues. Well, second caution of the night. More bad luck for Eugene to Max. As Nick Barney holds the lead, that's going to bring the field back together. Let's take a look and see what happened to Cidino. So here's going to happen here. Look at Cidino. Duncan's going to overshoot the turn hardcore into Gal. Turns into Galligan. And oh! Galligan with a hard, hard lick. Look at that, too. Just barely sweep by. But something's going to happen, I bet, later on. But Galligan took a huge hit. Luckily, it's a short track, so it probably didn't even hurt, but... Ow. Something, something's gonna happen, huh? Yes, Day gets turned, you can see. Whoa, boys. Oh, almost turned, took his teammate with him. Look at that. Oh, London just gets into the back of him. And the two barely sweet five. But something's gonna, oh, Murphy turned Pichu London. Look at that. London cuts across Murphy's bumper and more hard licks. But I think something's going to happen again today. Sid Dino blew up from that wreck. And then, oh. Oh! Wow, payback. Daniel Day, so frustrated. It takes Pichu London into the wall. In retaliation from the incident earlier on. Wow, we don't really see this have drivers very much. Day was had to be frustrated from being taken out by the 45, but that was a racing accident. I guess Day didn't think it was that. Drives right back at him. And then Make, tries to make sure the 45 doesn't even get into the pits to be able to fix his car. And wow. But how did Sid Dino... Unless I just missed it. Sid Dino did something. I totally forgot. I'm totally blind. He was involved in that wreck, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. He was scrunched up in it. How ironic. To three of the most bad luck drivers get involved in that wreck. Well, let's head back to green. Alright. We're going to try another run on a green flag. Nick Barney is still the leader. And tempers are flaring here tonight at Iowa. Not very often we see retaliation. So definitely going to be creating some feuds. So we're going to head back to the green here. Field's bunched up, so everyone's going to get another shot at the possible victory. Barney leads to the flag. Decent start. But can he hold the lead? Atkins trying to get her first win since season her first no her first uh win on her first start since season one. And she may be able to do that. She's looking very, very good so far. Tross trying to help her out. Oh boy, Tross took that turn really wide there. Atkins trying to assume the lead. She does. She got it. 
And Trost and Barney Val for second. Trost going to get by with, with ease. Oh, boy. Oh, this does not look good. Okay. Oh, Young. Young into the wall. Is a caution out for that? No, we're staying green. Oh, we might get a caution there. Oh, boy. Oh, Lamas. My God. Clusterfuck going on right now. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Kevin Arrow, what are you doing, bud? Caught in the green still out. As Tross is trying to assume the lead. Well, that was interesting. It's been a hectic race. In a good way. I mean, this isn't like a wreck fest or anything like Kentucky, but God. This has actually been pretty entertaining. But Tross, though, assuming the lead. With his points rival, said Cole, back and forth. Man, this could be interesting. Top four is pulled away. Said Cole, imagine if he picked up another victory here tonight. He'd be a really dominant. Driver sees that was the caution out. I saw yellow for a second. No, it's still green. Could be a broken light. I wouldn't be surprised. Drew Austin. Took that turn horribly. Hits the wall. As said, Cole gonna pass by. Atkins' car looks like it's not performing very well as Goss is working his way. Pollard. Drew Austin is fourth in the points. Seth Cole is first in the points. Trost is second in the points. So, top five in points. And a little battle here. As said, Cole is gaining on the 88. Hmm. Seth's trying to gain ground at 88. Coming to the flag. Give me two laps to go. I mean, 12 laps ago, my bad. The only concern I have is that they're going to catch Galligan for sure. Well, maybe. Field split. Let's head back here. Barney's falling really far back out of the top 10. As Dustin Griffiths moves up. Oh, caution's out, I think. Caution's out. Yeah, there's smoke. Oh, Kevin Arrow, Kevin Arrow. Oh, Boy, Cavanero. Looks like he may have had some kind of issue. Oh, Ian Duda's blown up again. Oh, look at Cavanero. He's just driving by. Look at these guys. Their guys are going back around. Looks like I gotta try and get their laps back. Oh, Lamas is in the pits. That was now a Lamas needed. Well, it's, I guess, third caution flies here tonight at Iowa, so let's take a look and see what happens. So here's going to happen here. Ian Duda bumps the 43, but Duda's going to overshot the turn along with Austin Ogo. He's going to rebound off the 8, slides around, and Cody Lamas with a hard lick into him. Nick Scarrera got involved there. Joshua Michaels, and look at the 48 doing a little dancing. As DeMarco got involved, Zach Rogers. Cavanero was an innocent bystander in that one. And that was exactly what Trost was worried for. Look at Seth Cole, just barely avoid it. Ooh, ooh, well, well that happened. So, let's head back to green. All right. Come to flat, we're gonna have seven laps to go. It's all or nothing. Jason Trost is the leader. We're searching for his first career DuPont Cup Series win. Season two, he came close a couple times, and season four, not really, didn't really perform very well. But if he can just hold on, he can do it. Set Cole got a good start. Jumps way to the high side along with Drew Austin. Tross has got to pray for another caution. 
Atkins now shuffles Drew Austin to third. Set Cole searching for the lead. All over the back bumper. It's Atkins trying to get the run. Oh boy, Seth right on the quarter panel. Tross is hanging though. He's trying to hold on for dear life. Seth Cole though, gonna get the run off the turn. Needs to shove that quarter panel out of the way. Tross decides to give him some room. And set Cole, going to try and pass by. Atkins line and wait. Oh boy, ooh, Tross gets into him. Oh, caution's out. That's the end of the race. And set Cole, I think, just picked up his third win of the season. Oh, we got a huge wreck. Oh, I see Dylan Young. I see Dylan, William Duncan again. Matthew Fowler. Sean Galligan wrecked again. Block looks like he has some damage. Nicholas Carreras, no hood, and that's the end of the race for sure, I think. Chris Washer got involved. Dang. Well, caution flies here once again here at Iowa. So let's take a look and see what happens. Here's what's going to happen here. Ogo's going to hit the 01 and rebound off the 4. And then look at Ogo just barely hit the wall. And then something's going to happen. Again, I think. Oh, yeah, the lap cars up ahead wreck each other. Oh, look at that. Oh, Richard Johnson into the double zero. And it's just going to turn to hell here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Ooh, hard hits. Hard hits for everybody. You get a hard hit. You get a hard hit. Everybody gets a hard hit. So, it's not often that we get three wins in a season so often, but said Cole, man, wins at Atlanta, wins at Kentucky, and then is now going to win here at Iowa, his third win of the season. Domination by that number 83 team, I'm telling you what. This is... I think Red Bull's tenth victor tenth victory. I'm trying to count six. Yeah, this is Red Bull's tenth victory. And that number eight three cars ninth victory, I think. Yeah. That I'll tell you what, Red Bull has been one of the most dominant two car teams, I think, in history. As set call. For the third time this season in less than 10 races, is going to pick up a win here at Iowa. Megan Atkins, Jason Tross, Pollard, Goss, Griffiths, everybody. Set Cole. Atkins has to be very satisfied with a second place finish in her return. Tross can't complain about a third place finish, even though he's losing ground to set Cole. Pollard with a good run. Goss had a decent run as well. Brandon Griffiths. Skavnicki got a good run. Schwalmberg. The plan finally got something. Samper finally got something good. It's going to help tie nine in the points. A lot of these guys must be very happy with some of these finishes. Joshua Michaels, 21st in his return. Michael Block at a 23rd. That's actually not too bad, honestly. Look at the ways this guy got out. Sedina lost by an oil line. Perry messed up on the start. Well, this race was short track racing at its finest, being and banging. Everything in between is actually not that bad of a race despite the cautions, but either way. Congratulations, said Cole. Hope you guys enjoyed this presentation of the Punk Cup series here on Fox Sports 1. <laughs> and we will see you guys at Bristol for race number 9. So see you guys then.